And when we at home as a family, husband, wife, father and mother, when we do things at home to get recognition for ourselves, we ruin that home. If the husband does things to be acknowledged and recognized for it, and if he's not, he stops doing, then the love is not genuine. The love is selfish. And when the wife does the same, it is a selfish love. The family gets divided and eventually destroyed. But when we come and say, as a husband, as a father, whatever I do, I'm doing it for my wife, for my children, and I'm doing it out of the love that I have for my family, and I'm doing it not expecting not a single recognition, then the Lord will recognize you. The Lord will reward you abundantly on earth and in heaven. Don't ever expect recognition from people. If you are seeking people's recognition, then everything is vanity of all vanities. Do everything for the Lord's sake, expecting nothing in return. And let Jesus Christ of Nazareth give it back to you the way he chooses, not the way you force it to be done. Believe you me, the more we forget about ourselves, the more we are glorified. The more you deny yourself, the more the Lord will reveal you to the whole world. Believe you me. And this is why the Lord said, even though it's not in the gospel of today, but the disciples said, Lord, teach us how to have more faith, increase our faith. He said, you see, if your brother sins against you, comes back and repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times a day and comes back and ask for forgiveness seven times, you need to forgive. You know why, my beloved, you are able to forgive so easily? The day that comes, you don't see yourself anymore. It's easy. This person came and hurt me. If I don't see myself, I'm not gonna see their hurt because they hurt me, but I don't see myself, so nothing happened. But you see, if I see myself, and I see myself something big, something special, well, I will never ever let anyone to even put a dent on me or a little scratch, I'll shred them to pieces. But since I have denied myself by the grace of the Lord Jesus, I am here for the Lord, I am here to serve Him and Him alone. I am here for no one else but Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Since I do not see myself, since I'm not seeking a position in the house of the Lord, since I'm not seeking any recognition, any reward, any payback, therefore whatever is done unto me, it's all good because I don't exist. So you just wasted your breath on someone that doesn't exist. You hurt me or you loved me. Both are the same to the person who truly denies himself for the Lord's name to be glorified in him. Bishop, this person loves you. Good. Bishop, this person hates you. Good. 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 Person brought you a bunch of flowers. Oh, what a feeling, Corona. 
It's the same. It's the same when Christ is your objective. It's the same when Christ is your goal. It is the same when Christ is your love. It's your love. It's your love. It's the same. Love one another. Forgive one another. Pray for one another. And be there for one another. Don't ever hold any grudges in your heart against no one. Don't ever say, I will never forgive this person for as long as I live. Don't ever say, I will never say hello to this person for as long as I live. Don't ever make such decisions. Don't ever say such statements. Very dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. You are offending the Lord, upsetting the Lord above all. Upsetting Him. Because the Lord says, if your brother sins against you and comes back and says sorry, you must forgive. No matter how many times he does it, you must forgive if he asks for forgiveness. But you know what? Forgiving the person is one thing and dealing with the person later on is totally different thing. But whether you talk to that person again or not, forgiveness is a must. Regardless how you will deal with the person later on. But forgiveness is a must. If you do not forgive, you are disconnected to the head. You're disconnected. The moment we are disconnected, what happens? We become that prodigal son. Dead. My son was dead. The father didn't say my son was lost. He put dead before lost. You know why? Because the moment we are disconnected from Christ, the first thing happens to us, we become dead. The moment the body is disconnected from the head, the body is dead. We're shocked why some people in the world behave in a certain way. Why are we shocked? They are disconnected from the head. They are dead. They're lost. And what do you expect from a dead, lost person? Nothing but destruction. Nothing but destruction. <laughs> 